how to lighten a topper or a wig and since I did it on one of my toppers which were soft black from the beginning I didn't record it that time because I didn't think it was gonna end up that well so I didn't wanna record but uh, now I have actually bought the same type of hair dye and I do have a wig that I want to lighten up a little bit so I'm gonna show you how to do it this time uh, for you who remember, this was the, top, the topper that I actually lightened. As you can see, it does have a darker uh, root and it fades into a uh, lighter brown balayage. And I did have it cut, so it's actually angled to be more like a bob. Uh, used to be 18 inches, now it's maybe 14. Uh, so all I did was actually just buy a certain type of hair uh, box dye. And I only applied it to the hair since the system I bought actually has some kind of lightening uh, effect already. So I only had to mix it all and put it on the hair and leave it for 20 minutes. It did turn out more of a blonde color at first. So uh, you have to remember this hair dye kind of washes away uh, the color, the original color. And it becomes this like blonde uh, brown color which maybe is not that nice so you might have to add another color uh, after it but it will lighten up uh, so I will show you how I do it on uh, one of my wigs this is the hair dye that I used this one uh, it does have a lightening system up to seven levels uh, therefore it can actually lighten up the hair without you doing anything you just have to mix uh, what is inside and I did buy this one since it will actually uh, brighten up to three levels and I do not want to lighten up too much uh, so I'm gonna try that one out but it does have the same system you just mix it all and you put it on the hair uh, so the brand is Mood I don't know if you can find it in your local store I think maybe this is a Scandinavian brand uh, but I think as long as you find something that has uh, written lightening system on it you might see that it works the same way uh, so it here as you can see here let me click on the picture uh, it does lighten up from dark brown to lighter and if you have black it will turn into more of a caramel brown balayage kind of color and this is what i did I'm gonna open it up so you can see what's on the inside and what you do mix. So you do have the normal, um, I don't know what it's called, but yeah, you know what it is. Uh, the creamy thing, and you do have the actual hair color. And what I think actually makes the hair lighten up is this kind of powder. It might be bleach. Uh, this is just empty yellow here. So this is actually a Blonde Booster Ultra Plus. So I think this is what actually uh, lightens it up because it is a kind of bleaching powder which you mix with the uh, hair color. Uh, so it's a Blonde Booster Ultra Plus. So you mix this with all the other ingredients and you simply just apply it on the hair like any normal hair dye and you leave it up and you will see that it's going to lighten up and you just leave it as long as you want the longer you leave it the, the more lighter it's gonna be so we'll see how long i'm gonna leave it since i don't know how bright i wanted that i'm gonna show you the wig that i'm gonna lighten up it's my highline custom wig uh, from sharon highline wigs uh, it's more of a darker brown. It does have some lighter brown in the sunlight, but I don't think it is that visible when I'm inside, uh, which I want I want it to be. So I wanted more of a little lighter. Uh, this is a hand-tied wig, and uh, I do have some Velcro here. I'm going to show you another video what this is for. Uh, but this is actually the one I'm going to lighten up. So... Uh, Oh my god. So, I don't have a lot of light here, but uh, this is a wig that I'm gonna lighten up. So, you kind of just put it on the wig stand and it's gonna hold up and you just start coloring. Now, I don't know what side will actually 
help maybe like this so we need to mix the powder first I'm getting ahead of myself and I do have uh, this little bowl uh, and I do have uh, this pencil so you kind of just open up uh, the powder the actual color and this mixing grip and you mix it together you probably know how that rolls so I'm not gonna show you I will just show you when the powder is in action I realize in my uh, well I did choose the wrong uh, the wrong one not I was gonna use, I was gonna use the level 3 to lighten up my wig and I accidentally took the 7 levels up but now it's over we just have to deal with it so probably gonna be more lightened up then I'm just gonna leave it for a shorter amount of time you will actually see uh, how it brightens up and you can just wash it the moment you feel like this is bright enough uh, so wish, wish me luck so I did actually accidentally open up this one and not this one this was three levels this was seven levels and I didn't want to open a second level on this one, but uh, you always need to check before you open a package. But we'll see how this turns out. Probably going to be good enough anyway. It all depends on how long you leave uh, the color. So it's going to work anyway. So now for the powder thingy. So as you can see, uh, the cream, the color, and this powder is actually the bleaching uh, powder and you kind of just have to mix it all into a color kind of like baking some cookies not that I bake but this is probably how it goes now uh, when coloring my topper or wig I don't actually like put it in layers and do layer for layer uh, I don't really care what it looks like underneath oh, that's so good of me I mean uh, I only kind of lighten the, the top of the hair so underneath it can still be the original color so I'm just going to apply the color actually on the top so I'm not gonna do any sections or anything it takes too much time and I'm too lazy and I don't have uh, that much energy for it so basically I am just going to apply it on the hair and brush it through. So I'm going to show you from another angle so you might not see my pretty face, but the content matters.
Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but it's already lightening up, as you can see. Uh, so the method that I use is actually just brushing. I mean, there's no technique on applying the hair color. I just do it like an amateur and I just brush it professionally. So it's already lightening up and I think it's going to turn out really good. More like a uh, brown, blonde maybe, depending on how long I leave it. Uh, so I think it's going to turn out pretty well. So I'm going to wear it for you to see uh, the color. As you can tell, it is a lighter shade now. Um, all this brown is the result. So I am satisfied with how it ended up. Because I do like a little um, lighter colors. Uh, for the summer and it actually kind of brightens up my face a little. Uh, I don't like it too dark. And it does look better when it's curled. I don't know. I don't like my hair straight. but I'm too lazy to curl it right now. So this is basically what I do. Oh my god. Hang on. See my phone died. <sighs> so, no. uh, so this is what I do um, when I lighten my hair. Uh, it's not like I'm a hairdresser or anything. I just happen to buy the right product and voila it makes it by itself i just have to apply it and as you can tell i didn't really apply it that professionally like layers etc i just put it on and use a comb and try to uh, even it out uh, and if i want to i might try to add some more light now that it's already lighter uh, it can be lighten up to any color if i want some more blonde or i want some more darker brown whatever so uh, i did not show you how i did the other part but basically i did the same just using another hair box dye uh, so this is the end result. Uh, I do like this hair color better. Basically, the first hair hair box dye that I used is actually just lightens up the hair. Uh, it does sometimes, if you leave it too long, turn into a more of a yellow orange color, which means that the color has been like washed off. Uh, so you can just use any type of hair color you want and apply it over it, which I did, and I achieved this one. So it's a chocolate brown color. It does look more red here, but it's not. It's more of a chocolate brown dimension. Yep, so this is basically what I do when I lighten up my hair pieces. I use a blonde a lightening system and then I basically just use any type of color I want on the hair and it will lighten up. So here is a soft black base fading into this chocolate brown dimension. You can tell the difference in color here. Yeah. So this is what I do. Uh, if you do have any questions, uh, do send me a DM. I will try to make other videos. I know people have re been requesting this Velcro video and I do have it recorded. I just have to uh, edit it and I do have other uh, videos I'm gonna make but if you do have any certain type of request on a video do send me a DM and I'm gonna try to make it happen. Uh, for now I'm just gonna end this video with this video uh, of coloring a, a topper or a wig. Uh, basically the same thing, just use a, the right uh, hair box dye with a lightening system, it's going to lighten up the hair. So you just blend it all together in a mix and you apply it on the hair. 
So I'll talk to you guys later.